that we can interrelate the data from different biological resources together with physical environmental variables and analyze these things in a way that um, without a GIS you would be unable to do. That is, we can look at the marine resources in the lagoon and the surrounding ocean areas together with the terrestrial resources. And then we can look at those over time. One of the things that students did on their last uh, field trip there in May of 2011 was we mapped the shape of the islands. And uh, one of the really popular islands in Teitiaroa is what we call Bird Island, Tahunaiti. And Tahunaiti uh, is predator free. There are no rats or cats on the island, so it has ground nesting birds similar to the same as what was there during pre Polynesian times. So uh, when we revisited that in 2011, I was alarmed to find that the channel that we had used to carry our backpacks over our heads and bob and wade across to the island was now only 70 feet wide and less than three feet deep. The shapes of the islands are changing and this threatens to merge Bird Island into its neighbor island which is heavily infested with rats. And so we can actually see these changes by looking at the GIS and integrating historical images of these islands and show how they move over time. You don't think of islands as moving, but they are. And especially with sea level rise today, we're seeing these islands move at a pretty rapid clip.